Hi everybody. I'm here to show you um, some cute poskets that I got recently that I finally got that I ordered a really long time ago, like like eight months ago. No, like in 2020. Oh. And a JoJo figure that recently came out. But the first figure that I'm going to show you is um, a Kimura Kenshin figure. It's from the anime Ruin and Kenshin. It's a classic anime that has live action stuff. Now, um, but here's his figure. This one has the the Ruin and Kenshin scar and a different sword. Um, I got the one with the bright orange hair for this key basket. There's two different types. His eyes look really nice. And then the next figure is the Batosai Himura figure. It's Kenshin when he's younger, before he has the other side of his scar. So I didn't get the one with the bright orange hair for this one. I wanted it to look kind of different. But there he is with his one scar. Not an X yet. He, in the anime, he's like a, he's kind of like a bad killer of other Ronin. He's like a Ronin himself. Um, Ronin were like samurai that got laid off in the Edo period because it was a more peaceful period so they didn't need them. It, the next figure is from Evangelion. It's um, one of Rei Ayanami. It is. It already had. I already bought the, the boy figures on Amazon, but I didn't want to buy these on Amazon. I wanted to buy them a little cheaper from the anime website that takes a little longer. Um, so it looks really nice. It's really shiny. Um, I, I don't have a full size figure of her yet, so this is probably my nicer figure of her so far. I have another like little miniature figure. That I got a con for cheap, but and then the next figure is of Asuka Langley. Um, they're both in their plug suits it, from the anime Evangelion, and the anime is actually about um, uh, like survivors of mental hospital stuff. The nineteen twenties coming back around later to shut down the mental hospitals. During World War Two, um, so it's kind of a. I guess it's the actual topic is offensive, but it's really hard to tell that it's about that. Um, most people wouldn't be able to tell. Um, but you have to think about it for a while. Um, but anyways, uh, there's those figures. Like there's a lot of figure scenes where the girls experience abuse and stuff. So there's supposed to be Ella, because she was one of the kids that survived. Anyways, um, here's uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, um, Stardust Crusaders from Part 4. Um, I think they did a really nice job with this figure. It, um, it's really nicely, like, um, painted and everything. Um, I didn't expect it to be that nice. It was, it was only $60. But he's really large, and <laughs> his body's really unrealistic. Um... It's really funny um, how the characters are styled in the anime. Um, it looks like his stand might fall over easily. I don't know if his foot... I have to be careful and like prop him up against something. But yeah, the paint job on him is really nice. He's, he's one of the more popular um, characters to cosplay from Jojo because his costume is easy. Um, you just have to get the black coat. There's a couple areas that don't look that great, but that's okay. So, anyways, I, I, I actually chose not to buy the other ones because I didn't know what the quality was going to be like, but I'll probably have to buy them for more expensive now on Amazon because it, they're definitely worth getting. So, Anyways, thanks for watching. There's all the figures.